Hey yo, this is Yeti Whiskers and welcome back to The Simple Life 2. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you guys are doing alright. Doing pretty good here myself. I have done derped again. I feel like it's been a while since we had a real big derp, but this time uh, it was OBS and I just, I don't know what the deal was. I usually do a test recording before I start and test the audio, make sure it doesn't sound all funky because that's what I've had the most issue with. And uh, the audio was fine. It was a video on the other hand. I recorded a whole episode and it was awful. It was horrible video quality. So we just scrapped it and I'll just kind of update you on what happened. But um, before we do that, just want to show you a little bit of what we've been working on in the village here. So you can see I've started working on some pathways and we've got going pretty much everywhere. The only place we don't have the pathways going is to these two towers over here. So we'll fix that up and then I've got to decide if I want to add the pathways over this way to like our nether portal or not our nether, yeah, our nether portal. Blah, blah, blah and our uh, mining dimension portal. And then also if we need some pathways headed over to this direction, which I assume we will. Like we've got one going to this tower, you can't see it probably, yeah, there it is, uh, to this tower, but we need to connect up. Eventually we'll have like a greenhouse, I think, with all of these guys. Um, so um, what we've done off camera is we gave our lumberjack here, Linda, an unbreakable ax, just because she's been busting through a bunch. Not, we, not that we you know are shy of resources anymore diamonds especially but just because I, I don't have to worry about it anymore i just she can just go crazy so um the caveat with that is i you do have to go chop some wood to make sure you have enough modifiers on your pickaxe in order to or your axe hatchet whatever in order to get it unbreakable but it is unbreakable for her so she, we shouldn't have to worry about replacing her axe anymore which is good um, because she is very very efficient um let's see the other thing we did inside the city before we get into the quests i think that's it i think that's it okay so let's get into the quests that we missed in the last episode um we got ourselves the we started into Astral Sorcery, so we got ourselves Aquamarine Seeds, and we also have now Rock Crystal Seeds. So those are producing, just like the rest of the stuff, um, and we started diving into Astral Sorcery. So a little while ago, I posted a, a poll on my Twitter feed and had some input, requesting input for whether we should dive into Astral Sorcery first, or if we should start diving more into Batania. If you guys remember up here, we started in Batania a little bit. Um, and didn't get very far. So um, the overwhelming majority said, well, let's dive into Astral Sorcery. And the Phoenix Lodge actually made a good point. He said that you can transmute pumpkins into uh, cake and use that for mana production if once you get into Batania. So I think that's a good idea. Um, for those of you who don't know, the Phoenix Lodge is the creator of both Sprout and Regrowth mod packs. And he's also working on one for 1.12. So... Uh, it's a magic based mod pack for Ludicolo, who is a content creator. He's a Twitch streamer. Pretty entertaining guy. He streams Minecraft, obviously, but he also streams like some Pokemon, I think I've seen him stream, and some other random games. So go check them him out, as well as uh, the Phoenix Lodge's mod packs. Good, good stuff. Anyway, so uh, let's get into the quests. We did quite a bit of work on Astral Sorcery. You can see I've got the Skywave Resonator. We found a base, we've got the Resonating Wand. Uh, let's open up the quest book real quick, show you. Do, 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 do. Starlight! So you can see we got all these done. Rock crystals, sunny marble, illumination station. Just got the luminous crafting table done. We've got the light well done. And then this is the last one we did before we left. And then inside of Wizards and Wizardry, I think. Yep, this is where these two essence seeds are. Um, we'll get more into these ones once we get into Batania a little bit more. And then I've also off camera been working on this chapter. So I went and fought a roguelike dungeon, conquered it, and I got all the rest of the zombie kills and the creeper kills I needed. And then I also fought the wither a bunch and the dragon a bunch. So I've got this really awesome bow now as a result of defeating the dragon a whole bunch of times. Where is it? This guy right here. It's a premium bow. It's pretty awesome. Let's see. I'll show you real quick. Like, whew, draw speed's quick, does quite a bit of damage. And I've thrown infinity on it, and then we're going to throw power on it once we have a second. So, or once we have the ability to do so. I was, I'm low on levels, I think, for the power five bow. But that has that is what we've been working on. I kind of want to go show you our astral sorcery area, and then I'm going to make a cut real quick so that I can kind of prep for the episode. This is like immediately after we're rendering the video, and I've actually just done a live stream on Twitch. 
So I'm trying to get this caught back up so we're not down an episode. I'm trying to stay pre-recording as much as I possibly can because I'm about to get super busy at work. And I want the videos to keep coming out to a, to a week, if possible. And we're pretty far in the mod pack, so we're getting close-ish to ending things up. Um, let's see. Oh, one other thing to mention, one other quest I completed is in the Mastering Flight. I got this one done and then realized we don't have anywhere near what it takes to get the cores ready. We have to go kill a ton more Wither Skeletons. So over here is where we got our our transmuting done at the first time. So those of you familiar with Astral Sorcery, you and for those who aren't as well, you just using a crafting table, you place it by one of these little floating crystal guys. You can see the light shoot over here and it provides you the opportunity to create a resonating wand as well as your starter um, astral sorcery stiffs. So we did all that and I cannot get out of here, which is good. And then, hold on, let's open up journey map. Ow. And we're gonna open up our starlight f teleport. I guess we're teleporting there. Uh, this is our astral sorcery field. So if you open this guy up at nighttime, you'll see this blue little cloud area, foggy area filled with little uh, starlight stars twinkling. So this is where we're gonna set up our starlight or our astral sorcery stuff. So here's our luminous crafting table, light well, gathering liquid starlight, and then we've got a handful of useful things over here for um, astral sorcery. So I'm actually gonna check these guys in, check that one in. The resonating one I'm gonna keep on my backpack, just with all the other stuff, and I am actually gonna make a cut real quick. Um, now that we're all cut up, so that I can get some get ready to make some more progress oh what is going on oh it's just the shift i was like well it feels like it's like an eclipse which happens because of astral sorcery but it's just the change in the biome looks like a shadow so yeah i'm gonna go get prepped and i'll be back with you in just a sec all right everybody welcome back so i've uh, been busy just uh built this little thing way up higher at level y level 200 so i think you can go up 50 more blocks if you want but just in looking at this luminous crafting table I think we're okay. Starlight's all the way full. Hopefully that's the case, no matter what we're building. I know you can upgrade the crafting and whatnot. So I've got an elevator block down there, and one up here so we can bounce up and back pretty easy. And then I've lit this up, obviously. So we're just using marble, and then this is uh, the polished blue slate. So that's what's going on here. Anyway, welcome back. So the next thing that we need to work on is, before we move into the next crafting tier, we need to actually get ourselves some rock crystals and move along with this. So each rock crystal will have various different properties that are randomly generated. The size is the size of the crystal. Effectively works as a type of durability when sharpening it. Cutting enhances the abilities of rock crystals when used as part of a tool or weapon. And then purity, which is enhances various aspects of the crystal's uses and cannot be changed. So we need to get ourselves four rock crystals. And I have three here and then I just crafted up some crystal rock, rock crystal ore from the essence that we're growing. And we have so many now. <laughs> okay, so that's why we brought a bunch of these guys up here. Very nice. Boom. Okay, we got some more over here. Very good. And boom. Okay, I was a little worried about the storage for the rock crystals, and I think that is valid a valid concern. So, let's check this guy back in here. We'll do that for now. And okay. I was going to say my middle click wasn't working, but now it is. Now, let us go ahead and claim this. We get some aquamarine, which is great. I brought a bunch of those as well. So grindstone. Using a grindstone to sharpen a rock crystal will drop its size, but will also increase its cutting. Higher cutting will provide increased stats when using the crystal in the tool and weapon crafting. Note that you can grind a crystal into nothing, so be careful with the grindstone. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a grindstone real quick. Grindstone. So we just need uh, two planks and then a marble, any marble and any sticks. So let's grab some marble out of here. So, and we're gonna grab our resonating wound. Okay, so let's go. I think it was a marble here. Some planks there. Some sticks this way. Okay, there it is. Then we just have to shift right click with the wand. And away she goes. Wonderful, heavenly music. And there it is. Do -do. We got ourselves the grindstone. Very nice. Go ahead and claim that guy. Crystal weaponry. So we'll just make these just to have them. Rock crystals with high cutting statistics can create powerful tools and weapons for any budding as astrologist. So we're gonna get these. I the, the tools that I have now I'm happy with. So we're probably not gonna use them, but gotta get ourselves 
100% completed. So we just need crystals and... Okay, so this is, should be pretty easy. A bunch of these guys. Should just be the usual suspects. So like this and like this. We're not going to worry about the stats. This is going to grab this guy. Oh, and the pickaxe is the other one we need to craft. Dun, dun, dun. Very nice. Thank you. And now the pickaxe should just be three of these guys. The nice thing about having that essence and getting that done in the last episode we didn't you didn't see because it was garbage is the fact that I can just pretty much get unlimited rock crystals. I don't have to go searching for them anymore with the resonating wand. I actually never had to. I found a few while I was just out mining, so to get us started at least, well, that's what we did. Choice reward crystal axe. Sure. Let's do the axe. Why not? Okay. I can see everything. A hand telescope. Enough time has been spent digging around and sifting through ancient ruins. It's time to look to the stars and start learning how the universe works. So to use the telescope, you must be away from any buildings and it must be night. Which it is. So the telescope. Let's look at the hand telescope real quick. And telescope. This guy. So we need a glass lens. And the glass lens is inside of here. We need four glass panes and an aquamarine. So we've got that. Like so. Aquamarine. Okay. Oh, it's good stuff. It's really kind of an interesting mod. It's pretty immersive once you get going. Okay, glass pane. Okay, thank you. And then we need the glass pane here. Oh, there's a piece of gold here. I think it was a plank maybe here. Some sticks. Ha! Got lucky. <laughs> That's a good guess. Okay, get ourselves the hand telescope. Ta-da! A clear view of the sky. So this guy's pretty cool from what I understand. You look around and what we're looking for is... Constellations? In the sky. Pretty cool. Okay. Epic loot bag, we'll take that for sure. And next is, by holding one of the constellation papers that you found in the ancient shrines, you may be able to spot them in the night sky a little easier. So I need to go back to our base and grab the constellation papers that we found. The paper must be held in the offhand whilst using the telescope. And of course, all constellations are not in the night sky at all times. Once you find a constellation, the stars will glow, but you will have to figure out which constellation it is that you are looking at. Hold shift whilst looking at the constellation in the sky to release the mouse and do a dot to dot of the constellation to unlock its power. Excellent. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll claim our reward. Thank you very much. Very informative. So I think we're good there. We've got the telescope now. We can probably... Oh, this is a DecoCraft one. We can go take that home. we got to head home anyway. So let's jump off this. Take that. These guys can stay here. Random junk can come in here. I'll put some of this stuff here just to keep. Uh, the grindstone we're going to keep here. It's going to come up here. Grindstone and the telescope can go there. The gold can come down here. Actually, I changed my mind. I want all of this stuff. Anything that's not for building, building. Go here. And I think that's good for now. Okay, so I'm going to run home. It's almost the end of the night time anyway, you can see. Woo. Most of this is going to be in the dark today's episode. So, uh, I, yeah, I am going to... Let's actually look into this and make sure... See if there's anything else we need to do. So we've got this and this and this. The grindstone, the weapons. The illumination powder we don't have. The hand telescope we do. We haven't unlocked any other chapters as far as I know yet. We've got discovery and exploration. So I think we need it. Unlock another chapter to progress. We've got all of that done. Where'd that go? In order to get the next tier of crafting table. Crafting component. Spectral relay. Okay. So I'm going to go head home and grab some more resources, and I'll be back with you shortly. <laughs> All right, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back, indeed. So it's been a little while. It's been a couple days, actually, since I last recorded, and I, the reason for that is I was having issues with my Twitch launcher. I do not know what the deal was with the recent update to the Minecraft launcher everything off. I originally couldn't update my like, vanilla Minecraft, and then I couldn't update my Twitch. So, anyway, I had some issues. Uninstall, reinstall, so any controls or anything that I've changed, gonna be an issue. 
But, um, yeah, we're back. So I made another uh, light well. So we're gathering up some liquid stardust. And the reason for that is uh, just to keep some on hand. And actually, I need to grab another aquamarine. Okay, so now that should be working and gathering up some liquid stardust for us. So um, the next thing that we're going to do is actually we are going to, inside the journal and the quest book, well, let's start with the quest book to kind of show you. Originally, I thought we had to do a few more things, but... We actually are trying to do this guy, the Starlight Crafting Altar. So it's the next step in the exploration of the astrological arts. We just need to make it at Luminous Crafting Table. And to do so, I believe... I can't remember the recipe. <laughs> here it is. So Starlight Crafting Altar, here she is. Um, some marble pillars. I think we should have everything. Um, let's see. Marble pillars, chilled marble, some liquid starlight bucket. And like, so pillars, where are you? Like so. This guy, like this. One of these dudes, and bada boom, bada bing. Okay, it's working, which is good. And, oh, I love it. Astral Sorcery, really cool effects. Let's see, we should have enough to get this guy going. Hopefully it'll transmute our little light. We have, like, full access to Starlight, right? It's given us as much as we, we can use. I don't know if the table transforms, or if... Aha, it does, table transforms. Boom! Your vision expands. You've learned more about attunement. Very good. Who was this guy? Layer. Oh, you. Push you away. I don't know what that does. Looks cool, though. Okay, so let's finish out the, um... Attunement. That's very nice. We'll get there eventually. We need to craft ourselves this multi-block structure here. So to do that, we need a Starlight Crafting Altar, which we have. I need eight chiseled marble, which I believe I have... 28 marble arches, 24 marble bricks, 21 sooty marble, and 8 marble pillars. So, I wonder if... Okay. I have the sooty marble. I've got... Oh, well. This is going to be a pain for me. Okay. Chiseled marble. I need 8 of. Let's start there. Chiseled marble, I only have 3 of. Let's make 5 more of those. Chiseled marble... So, and another one for kicks and giggles. Okay, we've got those. Now let's see what else we need. 20 marble perch. Perch. Marble kind. Boom. 28 of those. Of course, we're going to have an extra. Oop, hello. Do not lose these. 28 of those. 24 marble bricks. So, um, marble bricks like so, boom, I guess I'm going to get 24 of those, check the thing on the floor again, two city marble, eight marble pillars, okay, we should be good now, I should have everything we need to do this, um, the trick is going to be making this the correct pattern, so let's open up this guy, together, okay, so right underneath this, Zoom in or something. Let's take a look. So, a 3x3 three three area of the city marble. We can do that. Let's grab this guy. We're going to need it. Boom. And boom. Okay. Let's see. City marble. Kind of nice that we can just fill this in and you can't see it at all. I'm sure the difference is a dark block. That. Okay. Then we need a connecting. I think that's a 3x3 three three area also with these guys in the corner. So one, two, so, and we're already getting to So one, two, one, two, like so, all the way around, I think is the plan. Should be pretty strict. Sorry you guys if you want to, <clears throat> if you don't like to sit here and watch this, but I have never done this before, as we mentioned a few times, the astral sorcery stuff. And for me this is interesting. Kind of fun to walk through and slow, the, slow things down a little bit. The last couple episodes have been real high pace. Fast pace. Um, I guess the last one wasn't where we made all the food, but the other two before that really were real busted to really. Maybe that's too big. It might be we might be out of block too far. Too far. Okay. That one two. This is looking more right, more correct. And Oop, 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 oop. We should have had enough. Okay. That looks good. Okay. Now. Yeah, 
let's see. One, two. I think that's better. Okay. Now we need, uh, surrounding it, we need the bricks to go that. And then in the corners, I think we have the pillars. So let's chop this out and that out. Oops. Lost our city marble. And where's the bricks? This guy. So we go like so, all the way around. And then I think in the corner, we put the pillars. I wonder if there's a way to know that this is complete. Other than hoping for the best. Maybe we'll get some sort of visual over here. This guy is okay. Got those. I don't feel like that's right though. We should have had some extras. Well, that looks pretty good. Okay. Maybe it's bad counting. I don't know. Alright, then under here we have pillars that are a couple tall, four tall, so one, two, we've got to go three. Pillar. Okay, so underneath not the pillars, we need chiseled marble. Is this guy, and then we have two pillars, and then so let's do chiseled. One, two, chiseled, chiseled. One, two, chiseled. There we go. Boom, 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 and. Okay, that's looking good so far, I think. Uh, journal. And then on the outside of this guy are these, what are these called? The marble arches. So we need that to look like everywhere except the little corners there. So let's just do this. Boop. Oh, no. Did we lose some down here? We're going to go check real quick. Oh, we caught them all. Okay. Dang it. Held on for one, just a little bit too long. Okay, so let's do... <laughs> you guys know it wouldn't be an episode with me, right? Without that happening, some sort of derp or two or three. Okay, let's do this, and... Uh, back up this way. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now back to the marble arch, guys. So we need... So... Okay, this way. Boom. Boy, I really hope we get this right. In like so, okay? What is this about? Something red is happening. I think that means we screwed up somewhere. Let's take a look at the journal again. Okay. Everything looks okay to me. Is there a way to know that this is done? I mean, aside from the fact that that's red, right? Like, oh, yeah, going on here. I need to take it off and replace it. Oh, hey, we got the quest. Hmm, crafting with starlight. Let's grab this real quick. See if the quest book gives us any hints. We don't know that yet. Basic attunement, lighting up the darkness. Let's see. <laughs> Let's test it out, maybe. Lighting, with the, lighting up the darkness. The cave illuminator can be placed in the world and it will gradually place lights inside caves, dark areas, in the surrounding chunks. So, little purple lights should start appearing in the covered dark spaces in a fairly large radius all the way up to bedrock. Okay, let's check out the cave illuminator and see what it requires. I'm pretty sure we have done something wrong, and you guys probably already know what it is. So, illumination powder, we get from glowstone and that, okay. And then we need a bunch of that stuff. We got a bunch of the other stuff already. Okay, let's try. Rune marble. <clears throat> Two aquamarine. Let's do some rune marble. Boop. Two of those. Two rock crystals. Okay, so let's do this. And one of these guys in each corner. And aquamarines bottom and top, this guy here, that guy there, oh, except we need to make, we need to make this stuff first, okay, that's fine, all right, here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to go make sure that this is working, um, as best I can, <laughs> and then I am going to test it with the, 
with these guys. The Illumination Powder. And I'll be back with you once we get to that point. So see y'all in just a minute. Alright everybody, welcome back. So we were even we were able to create some Illumination Powder. You can see I've made some. I've got this guy already, but it is set up incorrectly. So I... Oh, I missed this right. Ta-da! No! I thought that would do it. Oh, wait, we gotta go a little bit further. A little bit further. And like this. Let's double check the corners. So much derping. You guys probably already knew this already, but... Ah, there we go. So now you can see the starlight's working. Okay. Let's get ourselves the illumination guy. How much do we need? Almost there. You can, oh, you can see right here. This is what's required. So we're almost there, almost there, almost there. This is like... Yeah, nice. Okay, we're not even in nighttime yet. I mean, we're close. It's sunset. So this is why we're so high up in one of these little fields, is because we need all the starlight power we can get. Then you can craft quite a few things without it being in the middle of the night. So you can see, I mean... Let's open this guy up. As the sun sets, we're still... I mean, middle of the night, there's no problem we're going to have filling this guy up. So we got this. Which is awesome. Very nice. Let's claim the reward. Just get some loot bags, which is fine. I'm um, not super surprising. So, um, I think rather than delving into some of this other stuff, we might just call this guy Spectral Relay. Press of the tune. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So we're not gonna quite start delving into some of this other stuff, which is really awesome. Focused energy is really cool. This is what we want to get ourselves the. Um, Get us, get ourselves the the pumpkins to transmute into uh, cake. Goodness sake! So we may have to build a little setup out over by where we're gonna set up our Batania, or maybe we'll move Batania over here. Who knows? Um, I'm okay with that. Blazing liquid stagger in the world. You can drop off many rock crystals into the house of uses. So maybe we'll do this guy real quick. Resonating gems. You can. This can take up to five minutes to accomplish. Ooh! <laughs> Yikes! Maybe not. Maybe not five minutes. Eesh. Um, no, we're not gonna do that right now. I might do that off camera. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Here we go. Let's do this. I need another aquamarine to chuck into this guy. Okay, let's go down. I am just gonna do this. Let's use this illuminator guy. Let's see what happens. Boom. Boom. Go crazy, dude. I don't know. All right, whatever. So let's place the bucket here. I need two of them. And I need to turn this guy off. That's gonna be a problem. So shift R. Shift right click, sorry. R, doo doo. Let those things go, hopefully fairly soon. They will transmute. So well, you can see little uh, particle effects going. That means it's working. So you guys know the drill? I can't help myself, I've got to get them before we end the episode. So I'll catch, I'm going to make a cut real quick once these are done, and uh, I'll see you in a sec. Alright everybody, so I've been trying for a while now to get this to work. I've moved it up and down and all over the place trying to, and I've lost a couple of aquamarines just to them despawning, so I don't know what I need to do to get this to work. If you guys could help me out in the comments, I would be much appreciated. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I know that I have, and we'll see you in the next one.